Hi everybody, this is Tammy and today I am participating in the Heartbeat Hop that's being hosted by Tina who is Tell Him Thank You here on YouTube. And excuse my voice, but I got sick right when I needed to record this video. So the hop is starting on Friday, February 14th on Valentine's Day um, at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there are four of us participating in the hop. Um, everybody's links to everybody's channel will be in the description box below. So we're all doing Valentine projects just to give you some inspiration and to, I guess, share some love here on YouTube. So um, I'm going to show you the things that I created. And again, there will be links to everybody's channel in the description box. And you definitely want to make sure you stop by everybody's channel watch their videos and leave comments on their videos if you're not subscribed feel free to subscribe to their channels um, if you're subscribing to my channel for the first time then welcome um, everybody is giving away prizes also so uh, make sure that you stop by and and leave comments on their videos so I'm going to share with you share with you my projects the first thing I'm going to show you is um, this is actually some happy mail that I received from Rhonda Coleman here on YouTube and I will also leave a link to her channel Rhonda does the cutest little um, embellishment boxes and projects and she does junk journals and all that kind of stuff but she sent this to me a couple weeks ago and I did share it on on Instagram but I didn't share it here on YouTube but I used a lot of the goodies from this embellishment box in my project. That's why I wanted to show it to you. So that's how she decorated it. Sorry for the glare. And those are all the goodies on the inside. And then she has this dangling charm here on the side. So um, I will point out all the things that I used on my project that came out of this fun, fun, fun um, little embellishment box. So um, I created a mailbox. So this is, um, or it started off as a mailbox from the Dollar Tree. And when I first bought it, they had them with the little arm or the little flag here. And then when I went back to get another one, the, the ones that they had didn't come with the flag. Like the flag was printed on the side of the box. It wasn't a free, free moving arm. So I didn't have another one that I could show you. And I didn't take pictures of this one before I started. But it was a red pattern on it. It was it was somewhat cute, but I definitely wanted to um, to uh, change it up and, and alter it. So I started off with some embellished or embossed wallpaper that I have in my stash. And I got that from a thrift store a couple of years ago. And it's a big roll, so it's gone. It's gone really, really far. So I just used some um, double-sided tape, put it all over the mailbox, and then covered it with this beautiful, beautiful embossed wallpaper, including the back and the front. Um, and then I took some different trims and outlined the borders where the papers met. There was some of them had a little teeny gap. Um, and since I didn't paint the the mailbox first, you, I didn't want that red to show through. So I just used this really pretty sequin trim that I had in my stash. And also this pretty Chinese braid that I had in my stash. Um, and then I just used a bunch of different things that I had in my stash. I didn't use any one particular paper collection or anything from one particular store or shop or anything like that. I just gathered up a, a few different pink and red items, pink, red, and white items that I could use on this project. So I started with this really beautiful applique here, and it, it was already pink, and it has these beautiful little flowers with a little bling in the center. So I kind of cut it up so there's a piece here, there's a piece in the center, and then it drapes over and across the top of the mailbox. So this is kind of like the focal or the side, the focal side view, I guess, of the mailbox. Um, so I have a bunch of these little frames in my stash, and I want to kind of, I wanted to kind of layer them um, to add some decoration. So I did do that, but I also had printed up this little frame here, and I printed it so that it had like a wood frame, and then in the center it said "Faith, Hope, and Love," First um, Corinthians thirteen thirteen, which um, 
you know, the greatest of, of these is love, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I printed that and I didn't, I wanted to use it. So, um, what I, but I also wanted to do this like layered frame thing. So I just took this pink frame and turned it on its side and put it on top of this paper framed print that I had. I added a cute little resin bow right there and then these are two other um, frames that I had. This one, the pink one, oh no, this I made out of a mold and the same with this one here and then this one I think came from Michaels. Then I had some stickers, I had this beautiful sequin bow that I just added to the top. I also had these flowers in my stash. Um, I They're not Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm not sure if they're I Am Roses. I just had them in my stash. I don't know if somebody gifted them to me or if I purchased them some from some place. But they were the perfect color and a really nice size. So I used those. Um, the little flag here, I took it off. It had, you know, obviously a pattern that matched the pattern that was on the mailbox. Um, so I took it off. I used a different uh, grommet to put it back on and then I covered that grommet with this cute little pink um, enamel dot and then the top part I covered with the sticker and the sticker was really pretty it had the brown it had the pink it had the white all the things that coordinated with the stuff that was on um, the frame here and then I added another little enamel uh, or um, enamel dot heart and then a little bow and then um, on the other side, so if you come across with the applique, on the other side I just took some wood pieces that says Everlasting Love. And then I used more stickers and then some of these little felt hearts that I had in my stash. As well as this cute little blingy piece right here. And then on the front, it did not have a pull so I punched a hole in the front and I added this, um, this little drawer pull. I added another piece of the applique, some more stickers, and then I had this chain in my stash. I believe this is a Tim Holtz chain that I got from Tuesday morning. And then um, this I had in my stash. It's very, very similar to one that Rhonda used on the dangle that she put on the um, little embellishment box. Um, but I used that there, and then I also added a key, and then another cute little um, dangle here so cute I just love the way this turned out really really pretty um okay so then of course it's a mailbox so I had to fill it with something so it does open so I also covered the inside I painted the edges and then I covered the inside with um, one of the digital papers from um, KSP by Louisa um, so I love that that's an older digital collection that she had but I thought it was really pretty and it matched very well so I covered the whole inside of the mailbox with that paper with that digital paper so like I said I didn't want the mailbox it's a mailbox so I had to fill it with stuff so I filled it with envelopes and postcards and everything is a shaker <laughs> so these these little envelopes here are inspired by this this I had in my stash I keep it in my stash um, this came from Target a few years ago. They had these cute little tags that were uh, made out of these vellum envelopes. And then they had like some cut up paper inside. So when I got them, I took out the paper and I filled it with sequins. And then I layered on some of their other um, tags. And then I put this heart and then the little, um, little Cupid sticker. So um, <clears throat> I always have this in my... Uh, Valentine's stash because I just loved the way that it turned out. I had made a few of them and I think I sent, you know, some on with Happy Mail and stuff, but I did keep one. So these two envelopes are inspired by this. So I had some other vellum envelopes in my stash. So I think this is a really good way to gift somebody some sequins or a sequin mix or also just to use it as a cute little shaker. So this I could take it and put it into my planner as like a, a dashboard or, um, a like a page marker or something like that but I thought they were really really cute 
and definitely a good way to gift sequins and sequin mixes. So I just put some a sequin mix in here that has like hearts and lips and different color sequins and like pink and white tones. And then this is like a bag topper that I had made um, uh, last year sometime. So this is like a little fabric flag, double flag. I added this sticker. And then this is like some Maggie Holmes paper and then some um, some fabric little flowers on a doily. So I just took, and I had this already made. So I just took it and glued it onto the top of the envelope. So I closed the envelope with some glue and then I added the topper to it. And that's all I did. This cute little heart um, embellishment rosette was gifted to me and I cannot remember by who. Um, I didn't write. It was, I didn't write on it like who I got it from, but it's really beautiful. I love, love, love the feathers and all the bling in there, as well as this cute little heart, um, layered the golden pink heart. And I thought it was perfect for my theme because I was using, I'm using pink and red and white in my colors for this project. So I just took it and put it on um, a double layer of doilies, folded all of that over and put it on this sequin mix which is red and white and there's some love sequin in there um, some um, white cup sequins some hearts really cute so um, I made those and then I also made some postcards so all the postcards are shakers and they're all printables uh, or digitals that I found on Etsy I'm um, not Etsy on um, Pinterest um, or either that I had in my stash already. I think these I all, I found them all on on Pinterest. I was looking for some cute little Valentine or like love related postcards. So then what I did, I sized all the postcards down to three and a half by five, um, and then I printed two sets of each of these three different postcards. And then I had found this We Are, Re we Are Memory Keepers card, pu card punch at a thrift store. And it also came with a, like a We Are Memory Keepers like stamp press thing. But it was a really good deal and I hadn't used it yet. But I thought this would be perfect for me to, to use to make these postcards into shakers. So I took some foam, two layers of foam. Well, I took a layer of foam and also one of the postcards and I put them in this press this this um, card punch and then I punched it and on two of them it punched it perfectly on the third one it only punched it only like made like a border on the foam because the foam was on the bottom and then the paper was on the top um, so then that one I just had to finish cutting it out by hand and then the second layer of foam I did by itself and it didn't cut that one as well so I think it was the paper that helped you know to layer it to cut it so I, I um, added the two layers of foam I put them on top of the whole postcard I added a piece of this is the acetate that I or the it calls it uh, acetate alternative I found this a long time ago at Michaels on clearance I know they still have it or at least I know they sold it they still sell sold it after I purchased this on clearance they still had some at regular price um, but this is what I use. Um, so I just cut a piece of, of the Duralar to go on top. And then I filled it with some sequins. So in here, in Rhonda's little um, embellishment box, she has this cute little little um, container with a different, with a really cute little sequin mix. So I put some of that in here. She also had these heart sequins. And I had some of these in my stash as well. So I put some of those in there. And then she also had these and the little button, so I layered two of the the bows and the button. And then these came from Hobby Lobby. I had them in my stash already. That cute little pink heart also came from Rhonda's embellishment box. And then this gold heart came from a, a, a sticker sheet that I had purchased from um, Tuesday morning. But then on top of the postcard, I added these other two little images that I also found on Pinterest and I popped those up so it's kind of like a little tiny shadow box um, sequin um, shaker but I really love the way that that came out and then I have a stamp um, that I got from mm, from Hobby Lobby 
it's a penny black stamp and it's of this postcard so I I put some um, black ink from a an ink pad that was almost dried out and then I stamped it because I wanted it to be kind of like rustic I didn't want a really clean sharp postcard stamp because the front of it already had that but I did want it to still be like a postcard on the back and then I just added a, a Valentine's sticker and um, and that is how this first postcard turned out and then here's the second one so the part that that punched out also had the little cherub on it so I fussy cut him and put him on the side and then this pink little fabric of velvety flower this pink bow this really beautiful glittery heart all came from Rhonda's embellishment box um, this bow came from my stash as well as this EXO was, um, I had in my stash it came from Target and then the wood love was also from my stash and then I just added some sequins that I have um, a little sequin mix that I had made uh, on the inside again I stamped the back with the postcard and then this is a stamp that I had in my stash as well and then the very last postcard um, this one I also layered these two little pieces here are from another postcard that I got on Pinterest I layered them on top of this one but I glued them flat I didn't pop them up or anything and then I also put these cute little felt um, little hearts on them um, I think they had a little heart right there and so I just covered the heart with the felt heart and then I added a cute little sequin mix this ribbon is from Rhonda's stash as well as this gold um, heart and then this little sequin arrow I had in my stash and then so as uh, as well as this wood piece and then these little flowers I used some um, uh, pop dots to pop those up and then I put the sequins inside and then that's the back with the cute little stamp sticker okay so these are all my pri my projects the beautiful beautiful mailbox I love the way this turned out and I think I am going to put it on a glass candlestick so that I can use it in um, my dining room for for decoration but I love the way that it came out and um, these are my shaker postcards as well as my sequin mix envelopes and thank you again Rhonda for sending the, me this beautiful Valentine embellishment box it came in so handy for the projects that I created for this hop so thank you so much everybody for joining me. Um, remember to check out the description box for um, links to all the other ladies channels. Remember to watch their videos, to subscribe to their channels if you're not already. And also comment on their videos. So if you are new to my channel, again welcome and thank you so much. Um, like I said, everybody's giving away prizes. My prize is going to be a $25 um, gift to your PayPal. So you obviously have to have PayPal in order to win that gift and it is open to US and international um, also I had done a save the date video on Tuesday I'm sorry on Wednesday the the uh, February 12th I already wrote down the ladies that left comments on that video so if you did leave a comment on that video then you are also being um, you're given an extra entry into the giveaway for this video as long as you leave a comment on this video as well so thank you so much ladies for watching that video and commenting I always like to um, to reward the people that leave comments because I love to read comments on my videos um, so so that's it so definitely thank you thank you thank you for joining us on the hop and remember to stop by all the other ladies channels and check out what beautiful creations they have to share with you. So thank you so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.